So, and this one just broke. That's cool. Well then. Hey everybody, I am going to show y'all all of my trial travel items that I have and I am going to basically try to get rid of all of them. So I'm going to do a weekly update for y'all, um, but I'm just going to show everything that I have for you now. Um, I have a couple of reviews that I can do with some of these because I have tried some of them but haven't finished it. And then I'll try to do a weekly update and do weekly reviews of the ones that I have used to let y'all know what I think about if I want to buy it or if it's trash or if I was just kind of neutral about it. Okay, there's no particular order of how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to grab all the things off of my desk and we'll go from there. So the first thing that I have is this Jergens Daily Moisture Dry Skin Moisturizer Lotion. This is what it looks like. Um, and I really don't like to use lotion and I've had this sample for a while now so I'm going to just try to go ahead and use it and get it done and over with. So next I have the Eucerin Daily Replenishing Moisturizing Lotion with Sunflower Extract and here is that one and like I said I'll go ahead and try to get these out gone this week so that way I can just throw them away. <coughs> Um, since I'm doing lotions, I have a couple more. This one's the Na Naobay Natural and Organic Body Radiance Lotion. I got this one in my birch box last month. Um, I think it was, last, it was either last month or two months ago. Um, haven't tried it yet. Um, this one I'll probably just try it. Smells good. I'll probably just try this one and end up giving it to somebody else that uses lotion because I do not. And next I have this Forever Young Hand Cream with C. Buckthorn Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40 by Supergoop. This one was in this month's Birch Box. I have yet to try that, but I will definitely try it by tomorrow. Um, Randy and I will be filming a video tomorrow um, doing reviews of all of our items that I got in my Birch Box and what she got in her Ipsy, so stay tuned for that. And I think that's all I have for lotions. Okay, next I'll do my perfumes that I have. And this one is the Harvey Prince Imperial Garnia. Um, and I've used, let's see if I can show you. I've used some of it. Um, I still have just a little bit left. It's just very strong and it's not really my scent. Um, but I might as well just go ahead and finish it while I have it. And I will probably not repurchase that one um, just because I'm not into big, like fancy perfumes. I'm much rather just use body spray. The next perfume I got was in, I think, yeah, it was in this month's Birch Box. This is the Catherine Maladrino perfume, and it looks like this. I've used it twice now. Um, it's okay, it's just still very strong. And not, I like it, but it's not something I would purchase. So, there's both. Next, of those. I have this Ion Straightening Solutions Flat Iron Protection. Um, I bought this at Sally's for $2.79. And it's this, and I've used it once or twice now. Um, I don't really remember what I thought about it, but I normally use. Eh this Beyond the Zone Smooth Criminal um, and I like this so much better so I it's hard for me to not use this so I'm going to definitely try to get rid of this little trial size that I have. Um, next I have this Fight the Power Peacemaker for Static Hair. I got it for $2.49 at Sally's because it's on clearance. Um, I used this a little bit. It does work. Um, I just haven't had static hair lately so I haven't had to use that. So. Next, I have this Frizz Ease Three Day Straight for Curly Hair Semi Permanent Styling Spray. I got this in last month's Birch Box. Um, I've used it once. It does kind of work. Um, as you can see, kind of my hair is wavy more than anything. So this is I straightened my hair this morning and it's wavy now. So this is it looks somewhat like this the next day when I used this stuff that makes sense so it 
looks like this the next day usually by tomorrow it's going to be kind of more wavy i'd have to re-straighten it again but with this i didn't have to necessarily straighten it the next day so i do like that not sure if i would really purchase it though um since i do have my smooth criminal that i much rather use instead next i have this number four super comb prep and protect spray i haven't used this yet Here's this. I got this in this month's birch box. I guess I'm gonna have to wash my hair tomorrow so I can actually give a review on this. Sorry, went blank for a second. So there's this, um, and I'll give y'all a review on that in tomorrow's birch box and ipsy review. <clears throat> this is the Soften Up Conditioner by Evanai. It's this, I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Um, oh, Eva, Eva NYC. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Eva NYC. Anyway, um, I got this, I think, in last month's Birch Box, so I haven't tried it yet. Um, I will use this tomorrow since I'll be washing my hair tomorrow. And this I also got in last month's Birch Box. It's Catwalk by TGI Curl Collection Curl-esque Defining Shampoo to Smooth Natural Curls. I don't really have curly hair, but I do have wavy hair. So using curly stuff does help a little bit on my hair as well. Okay, that's all the hair stuff that I got. Um, next, we're going to move on to face. And I just got this. Um, it's the Yes to Cucumber, Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Sensitive Skin. Um, I got it on clearance at Target. It was actually only 52 cents. So I wish I would have known that because I would have bought a couple more of these for 52 cents because I do love face masks. Um, and this is the Calming Facial Mask. So I'm excited to use this this week. Um, I also have this clean and clear night relaxing deep cleansing face wash that came with another face wash that I purchased. Um, I've used this a couple times. I do like it. It does make my face feel nice right before I go to bed. Um, so I definitely need to finish using that. Next, I have this Rose Hips Black Soap Deep Pore Facial Cleanser. I haven't tried this yet. I got this, I think, in a my beauty box five and i only got one of those boxes because i got the free one i wasn't very impressed with the box so i didn't go ahead and keep subscribing to them um so i just need to try this and i'll let y'all know and this i got in last month's birch box or two months ago birch box um and this is the real chemistry luminous three minute peel and that's this and i actually almost used this this morning but for some reason I changed my mind and I didn't. So I'm going to try to use this in the next couple days. So, the next, okay. I have this Resist Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum for all skin types. And I got that this in this month's Birch Box. Um, and the thing I like about this is this cool little top. And you spin it and it pops open and you get the little pumpy out and then you go back and it's down and it doesn't mess up. I thought that was nifty. My boyfriend thought I was crazy. So I'm going to use this tonight and I'll let y'all know tomorrow when I review on it. So, and then I'll do the makeup ones next, but we'll go ahead and go and do the mouth things. That sounds bad. <laughs> um, I have the Crest 3D Relate toothpaste. I've used this once maybe. Yeah, I've used this like once. And um, it was okay. It's just toothpaste. I have really stained teeth and everything I've tried will not whiten my teeth. Um, so I'm, I just get these in tri trials or samples um, if I'm going on vacation or if they're doing free samples. I love, love, love free samples. So I always request them just because it's free. Who can't deny free? I have another toothpaste sample, and this is the Crest Complete Whitening with Scope. Um, I've actually tried the full version of this before, and I do like it. Um, but this one, I think, was another free sample that I got. Um, so I just went ahead and claimed it because it's free. Um, and then I also got this Colgate Total Advanced Pro Shield uh, mouthwash in Peppermint Blast. And I do like this. I have used a little bit of it. I'm um, going to try to use the rest of it this week. So... 
Next, I'm going to move on to the things I already have in my makeup box. I haven't tried all of these things, but I have tried a couple of them. Um, this one is the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer, and it's just a little sample. I haven't tried it yet, and I think I've been putting it off because I feel like this isn't going to be enough to cover my face. So, because um, there's only really about that much of it, so it's from like here to here. Um, I feel like that's not a lot. It might be once I put it on. We'll just see. Uh, that I will probably try Wednesday this week because that's my off day from work. So, this is the CC Cream Daily Correct Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen Fair to Light Self Adjusting Shade by Supergoop. I use this today. I actually have it on my face now. This is amazing. Um, I may purchase this, but I do have a lot of other makeup I need to use first before I buy anything else. Um, and I looked on Birchbox and the full size of this is $35. Um, I usually don't like to spend that much on makeup, but this was amazing. So I might actually invest in this. Um, I also got these two in my Birchbox. And this one is the Super Goop. Play SPF 30 water resistant everyday sunscreen. Haven't used this yet because I do not go outside very often. Um, I do work inside, I work retail, so it's I never have time to go outside. So I will try to use this though anyway. And this one is ooh, uh, the Kula Mineral Sunscreen um, Matte Tint and environmental protection. This is a natural BB cream with SPF of 30. I've tried BB cream before. I did not like it. I will give this one a try because I did get this in my birch box. This was, I don't know how many months ago. I've had this for a while. Um, so I will try both of these. If not this week, definitely next week. So, um, the next one that I got these, okay, I just want to talk about these real fast. So I got, this is actually a full size one. I have used a little bit of it. Um, but this is the Summita Eyeliner. I did get this in my Birch Box a couple of months ago. And I fell in love. These are $10 from Birch, $11 from Birch Box. Um, and I normally buy them whenever I get 100 points, which is whenever I have a friend subscribe using my code, which I will put down below in the, um, information down below and you can go ahead if you're interested in Birchbox you can sign up using my friend code and let me get those points um, but this I love it it's amazing um, and I just bought another one because they were late on shipping my Birchbox this month so that's why I did not do a unboxing video because I did just get it like a couple days ago and I feel like everybody else has already had theirs forever so I didn't worry about it this month next month I will do an unboxing for y'all um, but this is another one. This is another Summita eyeliner, and this one is just a deep blue. Um, this one's very pretty. I'll swatch color of this real fast. So that's the color of it. It's very deep blue. I like it. And I'll swatch color of this one. This one's very, very pretty light blue. Um, I always get lots of compliments when I'm at work wearing this, um, and everybody loves it. So that's that. Back to my samples I need to use. Um, the rest of them are going to be, looks like lip products. So this one I just got in my birch box this month and this is La Laca and Company Lip Lube. Looks like this, it is so pretty. I am in love with this and you actually get a decent amount for a sample. To me, that's a decent amount. That might not be a decent amount to everybody, but that's a decent amount to me. Such pretty color. Um, it's that color right there. And I love, love, love it. I may or may not buy it. I may or may not buy this. This is $18 for the full so size. The next thing I have. talked about this before and I still have yet to use all of this and I'm going to try very hard to get rid of this so I can throw it away. This is the Noya Summertime Peach. I think I also got this in Beauty Box 5. I might be wrong. I might have got it in one of my other ones. I don't remember. It is this and it's all gone to the side because it keeps falling in my makeup tray over here. 
I don't know what it is. I like this and I don't like this. So I've tried very hard to go ahead and get rid of this. And I don't know if I can swatch color of this on here. It's a pretty color. I just, it just looks weird on my lips. And it's this bottom color right here. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm trying to get rid of this. Very, very hard trying to get rid of this. This is the last one I got. And this isn't really a sample. This was a full size. I can't remember what box I got this in either. This one might have been my beauty box and this one might have been a birch box. I could be completely wrong. I don't remember. I know I got these back in May. I can tell you that much. And this one is a lipstick. Um, and like I said, you got, you get a decent amount with these lipsticks um, in, for trial size in my opinion. In my opinion, you should only get this much for a trial size. But that's why I don't make these this decisions. This one is a pretty color. Let's try if I see if I can swatch this. Okay. This one's a pretty color as well. So sorry. Um, it is this color right here. This I got um, back in May, like I said, and it's pretty. It's just whenever I wear it, it wears off very, very fast. Like um, to the point I would have to reapply it, reapply it about every hour to hour and a half. I don't have time for that. That's why I really don't wear this very often. And when it does start coming off, it comes off in weird places. So it'll start like coming off here and then here. And then I just, it looks terrible. I just have to go to the bathroom and wipe all of my lipstick off, which that's not the point of wearing lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, especially now that it's broken on me. I have three more and I got these. I'll go ahead and tell y'all about these while I'm trying to fish for them. I got these at Ulta, uh, I don't remember how long ago, it's been a while, I did a haul video with Randy when I got these, but these are, I consider, trial items, even though I did buy them. So it is these three Essence lip glosses, they are very pretty, I do like every single one of these, um, I just have to make myself wear lip gloss more often. Um, these actually stay on for quite a while, so that is one thing I do like about them. And let's see if I can get y'all some pretty swatches. This color right here, it's a really light shimmery color, kind of, um, is this one. And I like it, and what I like to do is I like to take this one, which is just a clear, really sparkly one, um, and I like to sometimes put it over that to give it that extra sparkle. And I will do that now to show y'all. So, went ahead and swatched it both. I don't know if you can see that or not. But both, just the shimmer right below the pink. And I did add a little bit more on top of it to show what it does look like with that shimmer. And lastly, I do have this one. This one's a, kind of a mix of both of them. Um, and it's just a little bit more of a deeper pink. But it does also have shimmer in it. Um, and that is that bottom one right there. So I do like all of these. Um, I just need to go ahead and use them so I can buy more stuff. So that's these. And I think that is everything. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If so, like this video, go subscribe to our page. Randy and I are officially back to the channel. So we will be making videos at least once a week. We'll try to post more. And I will give you all a weekly update next week to let you know where I'm at with this. Y'all have a good night.